Welcome to the fascinating world of the golden ratio. This magical number has captivated mathematicians, artists, and designers for centuries. It's a simple yet profound concept that has inspired some of the greatest works of art and architecture in history. The golden ratio is a mathematical ratio that appears in nature, art, and design. It's found in the spiral patterns of seashells, the proportions of human faces, and even in the layout of the Parthenon. But what makes it so special? That's what we'll be exploring in this presentation. The golden ratio is a mathematical concept that has fascinated mathematicians, scientists, and artists for centuries. It is defined as a special number, approximately equal to 1.618, which has many interesting properties. One of the most fascinating properties of the golden ratio is its ability to create self-similar patterns. This means that if you take a rectangle whose sides are in the proportion of the golden ratio, and then remove a square from one end, the remaining rectangle will be in the same proportion as the original rectangle. This pattern can be repeated infinitely, creating a spiral that is found throughout nature. The golden ratio can be found in many aspects of nature, from the branching patterns of trees to the spiral patterns of seashells. In fact, the spiral pattern of shells like the Nautilus follows a logarithmic spiral that is based on the golden ratio. This same spiral can also be found in the growth patterns of plants and the shape of galaxies. Even the proportions of our own bodies follow the golden ratio. For example, the distance between our navel and the top of our head is approximately 1.618 times the distance between our navel and the bottom of our feet. This proportion can also be seen in the length of our fingers and the shape of our ears. The golden ratio has been used by artists and architects throughout history to create works of beauty and harmony. One of the most famous examples is the Parthenon in Athens, Greece, which was built in the 5th century BCE. The dimensions of the temple are based on the golden ratio, which gives it a sense of balance and proportion that is pleasing to the eye. Another iconic work of art that uses the golden ratio is Leonardo da Vinci's Mona Lisa. The composition of the painting follows the golden ratio, with the sitter's face and body positioned according to its proportions. This creates a sense of harmony and balance that draws the viewers out of the central figure. In modern design, the golden ratio continues to be a powerful tool for creating visually appealing and effective designs. Its use can be seen in everything from smartphone interfaces to car exteriors. One example of the golden ratio in action is in the design of Apple's iPhone. The screen dimensions are based on the golden rectangle, which creates a pleasing and balanced visual experience for the user. Another example is in the design of the Volkswagen Beetle, which uses the golden ratio to create a sleek and aerodynamic shape. The golden ratio is truly one of the most fascinating concepts in mathematics and art. We have explored its mathematical properties, its presence in the natural world, and its use in some of the most beautiful works of art and architecture throughout history. But what makes the golden ratio truly enduring is its continued relevance in modern design. From product design to graphic design to web design, the golden ratio remains an essential tool for creating aesthetically pleasing and effective designs. Its ability to create balance and harmony has been proven time and time again, making it a valuable asset for designers across various industries. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe and we will catch you on the next one.